everybody, my name is Corey Seibrandt. I do a t terrible job of updating pictures and posting things, so I decided to do a, a vlog um, and try to see how I can keep up with that. Um, I'm down here at my grandma's place. Um, it's a 23, 27-acre um, chunk. Um, it's, it's narrow and skinny. It butts up to a state park. On the back side of it, um, people rifle hunt to the west, uh, there's a road to the south, and there is um, some new things they just recently sold to the east. Um, uh, this is where I have a lot of my apple trees. Uh, I currently have, I believe, 27 or so planted. I have some in a nursery and I have some. Um, in pots that are sunk for the winter. Um, figured I would do this kind of today. I'm gonna just give you a, a, a quick tour of the orchard, a um, couple trees that are here, um, and I hope to take some cyan wood today. Maybe prune some of my younger trees. Um, today is March. Boy, what is it? The third or fourth today? Um, so yeah, it's raining out, kind of a crummy day, but um, hopefully some of this snow goes away. We have about a foot and a half of snow that I'm going to be trouncing through. So got my trusty sidekick here. She's ready to roll. Um, hopefully I can get a lot of this done and get some cyan wood sent out to some guys that were, were wanting some. So join and come along. All right, I'll kind of pan around here. This is the yard of my grandma's. She got some raspberry bush bushes there. A little pole shed. The old barn. In the background there. Apple trees. Driveway. And then just drive it to the road. You can kind of see the road in the background there. Um, up by the house here, she has. A couple of trees. Um, one of them was planted uh, in the late 50s. She thinks a lot of these planters, that, trees that they planted, um, were planted. So this one, um, she doesn't really know the variety of it. I think it's a Harrelson. I asked her about it again um, yesterday, and she said they didn't plant Harrelson. So um, I don't really know what to do with this tree. It looks like it's on a small rootstock. Um, it's been dying back. Um, let's see. Oops, sorry. Um, the bark there was looking pretty ugly. Uh, you can kind of see on the back side of it there. It's growing pretty good. Um, the cambium layer is, is really, it's healed along the edge there. I don't know if I'm supposed to cut out this dead stuff there. Um, but last two years I've been focusing on move so you can see it I'm focusing on the shoot that is coming up and going up like this um, thinking when I prune here um, in the next week or so I will take off those two lower ones there um, that may be a game time decision we'll see I'd like for it to, it's all new wood growing up there and it's been growing up. This must be the third year or so. So I think it might bloom this year. I'm not sure. So I think this one's a Harrelson. Again, it's been here for years and years and years. Um, just right next to the house here. Um, and uh, let's look. I'll have to read the tree tank. I thought a honey crisp close to the house wouldn't be a bad idea in case she can. Uh, Grandma's 91 now, so she's in there, probably sleeping away right now. Um, 91 lives at home by herself, kind of a cool deal. Um, she loves to come out. She loves, I'm her, her gardener, she says. Um, she loves that I come down here and visit her all the time. Um, this one was a, a Honeycrisp on B18, 118. Um, I grafted this one in the spring of 2016. So um, it's about five feet tall now. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of, I'll probably trim this one down all the way to a whip once I get get over here and do that. Maybe leave those top couple. 
Um, but those are the two trees that I have up here next to the house. So I'll continue on over to the next orchard. Alright, I'm about to take a plunge into this awesome snow that we have here. Um, this orchard is just to the east of the old barn. Um, you can see I have a food plot of corn my deer out there. Um, we'll start with this downed one here. Uh, three years ago, I don't know if it was, it was loaded with apples. I don't know if a bear or raccoons climbed up in it. Um, it had some dead wood down on, at the base here. And finally just gave way and tipped over. Um, but it's still growing for whatever reason you can see. I mean, there's a bunch of dead wood here. Um, it's rotting away, but on the bottom side here, it's all still connected and sending energy to the rest of the tree. Um, I wanted to take it out, but Grandma thought it would make easy picking, and she didn't care if it looked ugly from the house there. Um, she told me to keep it. And she thinks it's hilarious that there's a downed apple tree growing in, in the yard. So um, she gave me this wind chime to keep the deer away. Um, when Grandma says to do something, you just do it. Um, still, it, the buds look like they're beginning to swell a little bit. Looks like it's still going away. I did cut away some, some of the wood on this already. Um, I don't want to do too much because the deer really attack it and take away a bunch of the wood so um paul red i believe Sh these next four tree three trees that i'm going to show you here are all the same variety um she really wasn't sure what they were um she thought they were paul red but wasn't sure i think they are they are they look like a macintosh apple so they turn nice and red when they're ripe so this fits the, the description um, I pruned, so I, like I said, I cut some of this one, and I already pruned this one. These are the only two I have pruned. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I'm sorry with the trees and all that. Um, I could probably take a little more out of it, but I don't want to get too crazy with these ones. Um, I'm not really training for a central re leader or anything with these. Just kind of what they were when I started taking care of them about five years ago. Um, they hadn't been touched for 20 years or so, so I'm just kind of taking it easy on them. Just cutting out dead wood, crossing wood, um, stuff that's growing straight up that I can't train and pull down, um, that kind of thing. So there's the second tree in. Um, you'll notice um, that's facing south, so these ones are getting a little, I mean there's a little shade to them not ideal. I've cut away, believe it or not, a bunch of trees um, in the background here. Let some light in. Um, that oak there is going to need to go here, I think. Maybe the spring. Um, kind of see in the background there, there's some popple sticking high that should probably get taken out too here soon. Um, here's the next tree. Um, I haven't started pruning on anything else here. This one didn't pump out too many apples last year, probably close to a bushel. Um, yeah, kind of an ugly old thing comes up through different leaders coming up out of the up of the base there. Um, these trees usually produce every year pretty good crop. My aunts love them to make applesauce and and uh, to bake with and to fresh eat. Here's another one. This one was loaded. This one probably I don't know, a bushel and a half, two bushel come from this tree. A lot of new growth since I started pruning this one. It's really responded well. It's a leaner. You can kind of see my grandpa um, back in the day put a board under there with some nails and I don't know, I'll try to keep it up. I maybe could pull on this one a little bit, but I don't want to really mess with it. It's lasted this long, might as well just let it roll. Um, here's a different variety. Uh, I've done a ton of work to this one. This one's, boy, um, been throwing off a lot of new growth and it produced a ton of apples. I think it's Harrelson just by how it tastes and um, 
the characteristics of it. Um, you'll notice it was when I started. Um, it came in forked there. So there's two liters coming up. I cut the one off because it was really sickly looking. Um, this one's starting to bark's peeling away, and I mean these are old trees, so um, I just roll with what I got here. Um, it's put out a ton of new wood though since I've started pruning it. Um, you can kind of see there. I had to thin this one like crazy. The apples were just ginormous by fall because of all the thinning I did, and they tasted awesome. My family was very happy and impressed with the results of this one. I'm really the only one that does any work down here, and for whatever reason, I do it kind of for more so for the deer. I enjoy seeing the the trees grow and all that, but my family really doesn't leave any for the deer so which is awesome I'm glad they use them and um, kind of why I'm doing it sooner or later when all these younger trees here start producing they'll never be able to keep up with all of them um, I'll go over here all right so now I'll start with some of my younger trees um, this one happens to be a pear uh, I was planted I believe in 20 15, 2014, um, it's a Harrow Crisp, um, then pears have been an issue, I, if they don't grow good this year and if they die back from fire blight, I think I might just yank them out and put something else there, um, then the ground for, this is fourth leaf and it hasn't really done much, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, here is my little nursery that bed that I I made two years ago. Some of these, this is their um, second spring waking up in there. Um, you notice I have window screen in there. Um, the snow got deeper than the window screen this year, so hopefully a rabbit doesn't jump in there and start chomp, chomp, chomping away. Um, there's no voles down there doing their thing. I didn't have a problem last year with it, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, once the snow melts that there isn't any damage down there. Um, a couple of those, three or four of the larger varieties there will probably be planted out this spring in a new home, probably over right in front of that corn there, so have that to look forward to. Here we got an Arkansas Black, shared a bunch of pictures of this guy this year probably produced around 15 apples or so. Um, I thinned it back probably another at least another 15-20 apples off of it so um, pretty good tree it hung. I picked one apple off of it uh, I left it hang. I wouldn't let anybody pick it. I wanted to see how late it would hang it hung until probably around the 1st of December I took it off there and threw it out for the deer figured I knew it lasted and it hung for a while so the deer could enjoy it. Yes, one apple I did that too. That's how how weird a deer apple guy is, I guess. Um, here we got a... Uh, I can never remember these pears. This one died back, I think, to the snow line last year. Um, this one's a Harrow Delight, it looks like. It's had about five feet or so now. Um, this one must be like a summer something. This is another pair. Um, that about six feet. I know one of the tips though is it looks like it's dead so I don't know if it survived. We had some pretty cold weather here. Um, it must have got negative, close to negative 30. This one's a Flemish beauty. Um, you notice on these younger ones I Took the time. This it's hard to walk in the snow. Um, took the time to paint the bases of my trees. Um, this fall did uh, 50, about that's close to a 50% mix of white latex and um, now I'm drawing a blank. I have to get back to you on that one. Um, here's the New York Bonkers, and I see why they call it New York Bonkers. Grows like crazy. Hopefully this one, um, the apples taste good on here because it's growing really good. Um, 
transplanted this one. It was it was originally planted over on the other side of the the corn there. I have another little strip of trees. Um, I think I, I was planted in the spring of 13. Um, I think I must have put it at this location the next year, spring of 14. And it has really taken off and it's grown really good. It had a, it, a couple of apples started on it last spring, but then they aborted them. So hopefully this year I get to taste one or two. It's probably about a eight or nine foot tree. I'll be taking out some of those lower branches. Hopefully in this next video I might get to today, I get to show you some of the cuts and stuff I'll do to some of these trees. This one was from a pretty good guy that I know. Um, thank you, Art. Um, this is Northwest Greening. Um, we had a grafting class where I learned to graft. Uh, let's say here in the spring of 14, um, we had this grafting class, and maybe it was spring of 13, and I planted it spring of 14. But that's what it was. Um, we a bunch of guys met up, and a couple of the guys that knew how to graft taught us all how to do it. And you can see it's about a seven foot tree now, and. Um, it looks like there's some fruit spurs popping off there. Uh, this is a really good grower. By far the quickest grower besides New York Bonkers probably that I have. Um, cut some of those lower branches off. My goal is to get it so the bottom limbs are at this five foot level. Um, then I could make a smaller cage. Um, the deer can kind of leave them alone at that at that height. I'm sure they'll reach up into six foot or even get on their high line legs and reach higher, but it's kind of my goal for now. I have clover planted underneath the snow here. Um, came up really good last year, so hopefully it'll be back. I just started that before this year. Um, it was fall planting, so hopefully it, it takes and keeps growing. Um, thank gosh for tree tags. Connell Rad here. Um, some of those at that grafting class too. Um, if I take off a lot of those lower branches there. If anybody needs scion, hit me up. Um, this one, I guess, is kind of a little success story, but not a success story. I have a lot of gophers here. Um, this one is a McCoon. McCune. I don't really know how to say it. Um, I got from Cummins a lot of uh, spring of 13 probably. Holy bucket, it's sleeting now, I don't know if you can see it, it's coming down hard. Um, but the gophers got to it totally, I could I could wiggle the tree, there's no roots left. I took Scion from it, um, came over here to another root that had a failed graph on it, put this one on there, and it's growing pretty good now, I must have done that, let's see here. Crafted spring of 16, so putting off some good growth. Probably trim it down to a whip here when I start pruning in a little bit. Here's another good grower from that same Cummins order. Um, Enterprise. Got a lot of wood to cut off. This thing throws out the wood. Holy buckets. Um, everything I hear so far, I haven't had any apples, but everything I hear, it's a great deer apple. Um, it's close to 10 feet tall um, growing like crazy sorry guys lost you there um yeah enterprise so far awesome looking deer apple hopefully that continues um I have a new row going kind of you see I have these cages or these trees going east to west I started one new one last year and I plan on pulling a couple of those trees from the nurseries and I have a couple in trapper bags and I'm gonna plant along this open spot where this corn isn't um, plant clover there and probably this spring and get them planted um, this one is a Harrelson uh, I believe I planted it um, just last spring so about a year it's been there, just over a year. Try to 
clip off the, all those lower ones and let it keep growing. It's about close to five feet tall. So that sums up. I don't know. I haven't named this part of the orchard. I guess I could call it the barn orchard. Um, it used to be. You can see the old post there enclosed. Um, I pulled out that majority of the fence is all run down deer knocked it down and stuff so it's been up for years and years um, but eventually um, there'll be a line of trees here going towards that maple over there and hopefully this whole eh, this corn isn't very big you can kind of see the other side there um, that'll all be apples here in the next couple years just on the other side of the apples there I have another orchard um, I'll take you over there in the next part of this video series. Um, keep following along guys.